is, you know, artists. How many artists want to speak out, but they are now, you know, just getting shut down. You got cancel culture attacking everywhere. We talked to, you know, John Rich recently that said that, you know, all my friends were firing their roadies because they wouldn't get the vaccine. What is that oppression like? Well, luckily, there's a new record label that's saying, screw that. We're going to be here for those people that tell the truth. Check out Bass Records. I truly believe music can change the world. Honest music is the only kind of music worth listening to. That's not even in the song, that's free. You get that free. The music industry is incredibly woke and everybody is an activist, but there's still a large percentage of conservatives in the industry. They're just kind of hiding. There's more of us out there than the other side thinks. And they're afraid to speak out because they don't want to be canceled. They don't want to be uninvited to the Grammys and they don't want to get on a blacklist. I listen to a lot of music I don't agree with, but it never makes me furious. These days, Take it's not that way anymore. There's no middle ground. Social contagions and, and anger are omnipresent. It's like a storm. Isn't, isn't music kind of like the last bastion of free speech? Like we should be able to say whatever we want to say. Isn't that what the counterculture was in the 60s? Pour me, pour me, pour me, pour me another shot of whiskey. We felt like there was a lack of artists who speak to traditional values. That's what Based Records is all about. Hardworking, family oriented, loving people have been pushed out of the industry for political considerations, cultural considerations. And what we want to do at Base Records is change that. Music should have been about free speech. I got sorrow in my bones. It's a sort of bravery to be able to stand in front of people that may disagree with you and say what you think. If you don't say what I say, you're an enemy. You know, you're, you're on the other side and I won't participate in that agenda. The definition of a rock star is standing up for independence, freedom, freedom of thought, freedom of speech. If we get to a point where we can't say what we want to say anymore, what are we going to sing about? I'm not the only one willing to fight for my love of the red and white and the blue. Based record, just bringing in some amazing talent. Artists that might have been canceled for standing by their principles. We want artists, creators, and the people who make music possible to thrive, survive, and ultimately participate in the music economy. We want to build an infrastructure, like-minded people who are freedom-minded. Artists who share our values build a culture around that and we want to bring music to people that want that. And they don't want the other thing. They want the good medicine. I like seeing things like bass. It gives me hope. It's nice to know there's more people showing support for people like me. The country is starving for music that people can relate to. Yeah, I think they're going to sell some records. The opportunity that Based Records has is to find real artists with a real message of substance. Once there's a pivotal change in the culture war, they're going to be at the forefront of it. Giving people the option to, to see other things and not just one thing out there, uh, it's going to be great. We swear they'll put me in the grave. Well, the high why we're not just about medicine and science. Ultimately, we are about liberty, transparency, and freedom. We love to celebrate every place where we see somebody, something, some company standing up to make a difference in this world where cancel culture propaganda seem to be running rampant. This is one of those opportunities. Base Records is getting rolling, and one of their first artists is with me now. Our own Brad Skistemis, five times August, in hey, the house. Good to see you again. It's really great to see you. Uh, this is something we've talked about before, and we just had John Rich, you know, yeah. talking to us. Super awesome, a guy that spoke out, spoke his mind. Uh, right. Amazing how much he understood the science. But he said, man, I was shocked how many people, I'm not going to name names, mm -hmm. but some of the biggest people you're following ended up firing their people, never hired them back, turned into total a-holes, didn't stand yeah. up for anybody. <laughs> but uh, you're not as afraid to share some names. I mean, it yeah. was disgusting. I mean, what yeah. happened to rock and roll? Well, yeah, that's exactly uh, the question, isn't it? Um, you know, growing up, you know, music's my life. It's it's yeah. when when I'm not, you know, when I don't have anything to do, I'm at a record store. I'm and and, and that's what fuels my life. Yeah. So, when 2020 came around and we're starting to see this tyranny sort of creep in little by little, yeah. And I'm looking around 
asking where are my heroes, that became an issue for me. Right. And that's one of the reasons why I started speaking out. So um, that idea sat with me for a while, and um, I ended up writing a song about it yeah. called Ain't No Rock and Roll. Yeah, pretty much calling out all these guys. And, you know, they've been there at the forefront. You can see them. They're in big pharma ads. They're making Pfizer commercials. Right. You know, there's, there's articles out there where they're right. calling you an enemy. So, you know, go ahead, name the names. They're out there. Well, I mean, look, it. Neil Young was the one that, like, really blew my mind. It's a guy mm -hmm. that like, comes up in the 60s, anti-war, fuck the system, mm -hmm. you know, fight against the machine, rage against the machine, yep. you know, yep. when it, we get into more modern times. I mean, the entire, I mean, rage against the machine, the entire, right. like, the whole concept seemed to be don't trust your government. Yeah. They're lying to you. Stand up for your rights. Mm -hmm. Rage against that machine yeah. that is being manipulated by funding and propaganda, and then they turn around and start making, you know, uh, people get vaccinated to see shows. Right. Yeah, and that's been the joke for the last couple of years, is that rage against the machine is now raging for the machine. Right. We saw so many artists um, require vaccination shots and segregate their right. audiences, and, and, you know, that really hit me. It gut-punched me into thinking, you know, is rock and roll just a farce? You know, right. at the end of the day, uh, there was never a greater time to stand up against the man than the last three years. Right. And we, you know, very, very, very few of them, you know, that you would have expected yeah. to, to speak up, spoke up. You we would think if you were saying, we keep on rocking in the free world. Like right. for at the time, I want my aunt to be keep on rocking the free world, yeah. but you're not free to decide what's injected into your body. I'm going to make mm -hmm. you and I'm going to pull my songs from Spotify for, yeah. uh, you know, allowing Joe Rogan to say what he thinks on yeah. the back. I mean, like literally I want to censor people. Yeah. I don't want anyone rocking. I don't want any freedom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, unbelievable. Dave Grohl, yeah. you know, to me, as far as I'm concerned, they killed the drummer. I mean, I know that's probably yeah. like, you know, I'm probably like stepping mm -hmm. out on the line here, but well, you had the drummer saying, hey, man, I don't want this thing. He was public about it. I got mm -hmm. a bad feeling about this. You're not going to get to play in our band. Gets yeah. it, dies. Yeah, and then and then nothing about it. You know, let's just be quiet about it. It's, it's uh, a sad thing to see that line be drawn in the sand, you know, yeah. with Neil Young in particular saying, look, it's either me or him. When music is really supposed to be bringing people together, yeah. you know, a concert is where people can go and stand together right. despite our differences and sing right. along. And it's become this divisive thing. So it's really a shame to see that. When we look into the future, and, and we talk about it, like, you know, even John Rich, I mean, he's moving to his own label. Everyone's, if you want to do anything, if you want to speak the truth anymore, mm -hmm. labels aren't going to be there for you. They're controlling you. You know, it seems to be all sort of output out of Hollywood. So tell me about Based, mm -hmm. just for a second. Well, Based came at the right time for me. I've been independent my entire career and um, never really wanted to work with a label. By the time I was meeting with major record labels uh, 15 years ago, the, the industry had shifted so much you could do so much on your own as an indie artist i didn't feel like you needed them anymore um but with the way the culture at war is now um based records are something special that where they're trying to sort of get back to what the artist has to say it's not fluff it means something mm -hmm. there's value and substance in the message and so when i met them you know they they kind of proposed themselves as the anti-label label and i thought well if I'm going to work with a label, I'm going to work with the anti-label <laughs> label. That makes sense for I me. I love it. Yeah. So it's an exciting time to see that because this label, you know, it didn't exist. These artists that are speaking out, yeah. the handful of us that are, we didn't exist before. And it, so it's starting to curb that. And when I started speaking out, um, I didn't know who would agree with me. And it turns out there's a lot of people who agree with me. Yeah. And little by little, this movement has grown and we're seeing these amazing moments happen where artists like Jimmy Levy are topping the charts, you know, or this label now exists, Based Records yeah. is here now. And that's a, a great silver lining of what's come out of the last couple of years. I always had faith that this was going to happen. You know, I've said people like, you know, why don't you start the next Facebook? I was like, that'd be cool. And we've looked into it. But I know somebody is. Yeah. I know somebody sees that there's a giant market there. I know that music's going to find a way. There's going to be studios that will leave Hollywood, maybe find their way into Texas or whatever, because they want to be free to be artists. Mm -hmm. And that's really what's amazing at the heart of this. Look, I don't have a problem if you have an opinion. Go ahead and mm -hmm. say, my opinion is the vaccine works. But when you start forcing people to get that vaccine in order to 
step into a public space and hear you speak, I think you've stepped over the line. Yeah. I think once you start telling people what to do with their bodies, you're way out of the line of where you're supposed to be as, yeah. as, an, as an artist. Uh, all we can do is just sort of express our thoughts and feelings. And I don't really even tell anyone on my show what they should do. I say, this is what I'm doing with my life. Here's the things that we're looking at. Um, I really love, you know, your music's been awesome. It's been carrying us all through uh, this experience. And you're one of the first artists uh, coming out on this label. Thanks. Are people going to be able to track the label? Is, there, is this something where we can see what other artists are, are getting yeah, involved with them? you can follow them at uh, basedrecords.com. It's B-A-S-T-E. Uh, records.com and uh, they've got a lot of really great exciting things in the works there's a, a good group of guys over there that really have the best interest in, in what what needs to happen yeah. in culture and so it's it's just really exciting to see that yeah. and tomorrow bass records dropping your new music video ain't no rock and roll mm -hmm. that's it uh, we're gonna give our audience a sneak preview I want to thank you for taking time to yeah. come in and join us and and more importantly thank you for being so inspiring uh, you know, lots of famous people on this track are helping you out. You're working with Gravy. Tell me a little bit about just this song really quick before we sort of check so, it out. Yeah, this song is my response to, you know, pretty much all my heroes that I looked up to um, that you started to see kind of show their true colors. Yeah. And, and to have to go back and analyze what rock and roll meant to us over the last 60 years. Yeah. Um, was it real? Um, were, were these um, uh, protest artists, did they mean what they, what they were saying back then? Because like I said, the last few years was the time yeah. to speak up. And so, um, you know, I took, I kind of uh, took together all of the different commercials I was seeing, the headlines I was seeing, I put their faces there, um, sort of scratched out their eyes and kind of as a way to say, look, um, you're not coming with us <laughs> right. and uh, we're moving on without you. Let's put a, let's, if you're going to draw a line in the sand, then let's, we'll draw a line in the sand and we're moving on and there's a new path being forged. And so that's kind of what I intended to say with this song and video. Fantastic. All right. Well, look, folks, you know, sometimes, you know, the, the quotes go, may you never meet your heroes because you might just be disappointed. The truth is, is that you should be your own hero. You should not be some side player playing a bit role in your own movie. And hopefully as you watch the show, you realize that we've put a lot of credit on people that we thought knew more than us or had some say in our lives, whether it's an expert from the CDC or the FDA that told us that they were protecting us, whether we believed our teeth and our bodies were healthier because of what they were putting in our water slowly, but surely it all starts to fall apart. Even though you believe that your rock and rollers were marching for freedom, when it came down to it, they would do whatever it was to protect themselves if that even meant putting you and your life at risk and your body. So in the end, what we have to do is not be depressed about this. I think what we have to recognize is our own power, our own validity. We've been looking at people up on a stage as those are bigger, brighter, or more dynamic. The truth is the people that really make a difference, you know all they do? They just speak their truth. And I'll tell you one thing I can say, one of my favorite things about working here on the high wire is I get to meet a lot of my current heroes, those people that actually speak the truth to power, put their licenses and their careers on the line, put their records on the line, put their followers and their Facebook pages and their Twitter channels on the line. And when they come in here, I'll tell you this, they always blow my mind. I haven't been disappointed by a single one of the heroes that we brought here on the high wire. So think about that. You are your hero. You're the hero to your family, and you're going to be the hero to the future of this nation because you're going to speak up. I keep saying it. Speak your truth. That's how we change. Create new companies. Don't complain about what doesn't exist or how bad the company you're in is or what they're doing to you. Take that as an opportunity to build something that so many people need and want. There is an economy now to truth. There's an economy to health. There's an economy to critical thinking. Get in it. Be a part of it and recognize that what you once thought was rock and roll. Maybe there ain't no rock and roll. I'll see you next week.
never was a rage against the damn machine. No, there ain't no fighter in the zoo. No more rocking in those free world shoes. All the high strung Neil Young wannabes. Yeah, their silence has been deafening. All the suits lick the boots of the government. No.